all welcome back to our youtube channel vision go so i got lot of requests in the linkedin as per your request i am ready to prepare one video for the guys because uh, before starting our videos if there is any mistake please comment below so i will correct it in the next videos also and we can start from the first thing first one right so i got lot of uh, what in the python plus dfa part so that is good good in my opinion that is good because our building block as a data engineer if you want to become a good data engineer we want to start from the scratch the i will i will tell you the path first you are needs data structure definitely we want to know data structure uh, we have less programming side in the data engineering but definitely in some cases there is some kind of solution definitely we want to write the program so first you are definitely need to know the data structures and algorithm second one is definitely know the languages any languages like python uh, scala java anything you want to computer you want to become computer that you can choose but i prefer python the python is more easy and to understand and it is more compatible with all the systems so the python is my suggestion you can follow your own and the next one is sql the third stage will be sql definitely we want to add pro in the sql because most of the uh, relational and non relational databases everything will be in the uh, in in flowing to the sql so definitely we want to become pro in the sql and the next one is data data engineering side so that sign hive spark and hadoop so these are the three things definitely we want to understand okay and the fifth one is we has some knowledge in the streaming pipeline so pipeline designing part we want to become a good engineer definitely we want to analyze what are the things done in the client side definitely you need to deep dive on the business requirement then only we can help them because as a developer we are sitting to help the businesses if if we develop one uh, a uh, website or if you develop one solution that definitely need to make 100% percent of profit or 100% or 200% that much of profit definitely we want to give in the time then only they have also satisfied if they satisfy we will satisfy so that is the goal and the fifth one is we need to understand the optimize the design pipelines everything and we can efficiently handle all kind of data we need to record or we need to give an ultimate solution to the client so that is the data pipeline side and one more thing the sixth point is we definitely want to know the cloud knowledge because the companies are moving their huge amount of data into cloud so definitely we have knowledge we have hands on knowledge in the cloud also these are the path we are become a like a full stack developer we have, we have become a full data engineer as a full then only we become we can help the client so that perspective we always want to analyze our thinking process and thought process so i think hope you guys get all idea so this is the series this is the pattern i will make the series how to become an efficient data engineer so uh, we can start okay so the first thing we can start today is the python plus dsa uh, we are moving to first i already tell you first i start from the dsa then moving python then sql then the data pipeline and uh, that means the spark hadoop and uh, hive so that is the thing and fifth one is pipeline uh, design design a optimized to pipeline and the fifth uh, sixth one is uh, any cloud cloud cert not cloud certification but we definitely have a deep knowledge about the cloud how the cloud is working if we want to migrate one data definitely we want to know it assure or aws or gcp anything okay so here we are discussing about the data structures and algorithm in the data structure i will give you the overall the data structures and algorithm contain we can divide into two part dsa that mean data structure is the one part and the algorithm is the second part then i will tell you why the data structure has the important role in everywhere uh, for example like uh you are building a house okay you are building a house but definitely you want to know 
these are the this is doll one you have you are a contractor i have five doll i have 10 window and the hollow bricks cement everything in my hand and definitely you want to know your workers definitely know where it is placed right but uh, if you have already complete one design it's a two-story two building and you completed your design then you are uh, there is a there's a friend door but your worker will place a hollow bricks there and uh, in, without door he placed a hollow bricks and we, he completed it so there is no door in the friend door he completed with the hollow bricks what will happen the entire design will collapse right because the entire beauty of the design will collapse in the first time itself so same thing you can think here your architecture your architect design a optimized solution but you are a worker you don't know where the place where is the place of the um, where you want to place the queue where you want to place the stack and where you want to place the lift you don't know anything then what will happen the same happen in the building cases happen in your solution also that is the main reason you need to study the data structure first then only we get better idea where we can play what is the importance of it that kind of thing so uh, this, this is a good decision i got the uh, lot of votes in the building i think uh, most of the people know uh, data structure and some of them maybe don't know and they want to eager about to start it so that is the reason they voted in the python preps data structure so i'm going with that flow so first thing we can start i divide into the python plus data structures into four categories the first one is general general means every time we are building a solution definitely we want to know the complexity means how much time is taken for the execution of the program and how much space is needed to the execution of the program so that is the first thing we want to know okay and the second one is linear data structure linear data structures means it contains static and dynamic static means array for example array uh, in c uh, we already know we are defining the size of the array it is not uh, extendable but in the list i think python list already not right it is dynamically we can uh, we can change it and the array is in the static category and the dynamic there will be stack queue linked list and doubly linked list circular linked list hash table heap everything in the this category and we are moving forward to non-linear data structure that is very important for the non-relational databases like huge amount we are we are living in the data platform right so definitely we want to understand graph structures and tree structures for example graph you can understand your facebook how many connections are available in your facebook okay in my facebook uh, i think almost two three eight zero zero connections are available in my facebook so if this is me this is the non what i am connecting to the person okay that means 380 connections are there so these kind of situation we are using the graph okay i think hope you understand better and the tree also we can use for the binary search tree that kind of situation we are using the tree structure and moving forward i already told I tell you the first time bsa is split into data structure that means this is the data structure part and algorithm algorithm means i am writing here ok so for example i will ah, ok i will place here i think the copy back so this is the part of data structure and this is the part of algorithm ok so the algorithm means uh, definitely algorithm has also played an important role because the sorting algorithm uh, search because everywhere for example in the google also every time we are searching the item right i think majority of the day as a developer as a data engineer sometimes we are searching right google is the uh, google is the uh, book or an open book we are searching every time that is the main example of these kind of algorithm that is using sorting 
because if we give one I want to search how the data engineering works then what will happen it will analyze the data engineering text and it is displaying there okay so that kind of things are the main example of algorithm definitely we want to know selection algorithm insertion bubble sort quick sort merge and heap these are the main algorithm we will deeply discuss each and every one in a correct manner then only we get better understanding so i think hope you guys clear this one i think it is good enough right so if you have any question please comment below i will help you i will prepare the note for you uh, we need to complete this series within one month i have all the note i already uploaded in the link to ingrid if you have any suggestion you can follow my note and comment below or personally message me these are the things you want to know so i think first i am starting with i will tell you for the dsa part i will uh, start with the time complexity space complexity first then list very important and the dynamic arrays uh, stack queue linked list hash table and the heap table and the non linear data structure we are uh, creating graph and tree and coming to here algorithms we are uh, moving into selection sort the insertion sort and bubble these kind of thing so this is the every time i will upload one one video uh, each topic one video this simple to analyze it is not a uh, full lengthy if you want to understand better once we complete the all series we will take it more detail okay so i think if you like this video please subscribe our button then bye guys